good afternoon or well, I don't know why I say good afternoon it may not be afternoon while I, you're watching this but it is afternoon to us here in sunny Wales and it is sunny we've had two glorious weeks of sunshine recently and well do you know what we don't know what to do with it here um but I'm not complaining I'm loving it I hope it stays a little longer so I want to get this video out before next Sunday and I'll tell you why next Sunday it's Father's Day not that that really bears any sort of um, uh, relevance I suppose to this except for the fact that my husband has been extremely generous and is coming with me and spending Father's Day at the UK Midlands Pen Show with me so super excited very grateful and thank you very much there is a bit of a twist we're doing something Saturday night where he's going to watch something that he wants to see so bit of a trade-off we're in the ballpark we're going to be in the Midlands so we are going to the Midlands Pen Show in Litchfield if any of you are watching this in advance of that and are in the UK fairly close by or even if you want to make a bit of a journey then please come and sort of see the many wonderful people that will be there the great stores it is among the biggest of the UK pen shows and um, yeah it would be great to sort of meet some new people and have a bit of a chat and um, I'm looking forward to doing the same so the reason that that is relevant the UK pen shows are relevant is because this pen that I'm reviewing now is a byproduct of the last pen show I went to, which was the Southwest Pen Show back in January, the end of January of this year. That was held in Bristol, and I've been a few times to that pen show, but this year I got to meet a another John. There are now three pen Johns in my life, and um, I got to meet John Twiss. And not only is he a lovely guy, he knows his stuff. He is. He makes some wonderful, wonderful pens. And both my daughter Karis and I were very fortunate to um, have spent some time with him, had a look at his things, and she bought one pen there and then. I couldn't make my mind up, but then saw some wonderful pens, and I had to put in a custom order, which is what I did. So that was really quite difficult, being at a pen show and not necessarily spending my money there and then to come home with products and actually saying, okay, I'm going to keep hold of this money and I'm going to invest it in a pen that I'll have in a few months time. But that's exactly what I did. And the reason I did that is because I found and saw some beautiful, beautiful pens. I've wanted a pen like this for quite some time. I've wanted a transparent pen. I love demonstrator pens. But I also, as you know, love patent pens. So the fact that I could combine both was perfect for me, absolutely perfect for me. And this is what I'm talking about. This beauty here. So this is a custom made pen by John Twiss. Um, I also back in January, I think I had it then, it was ready by end of March, beginning of April. I've had it now for about six weeks or so and I've been using this pen and um, well beautiful you need to see this in closer detail but also is say you need to see the other sort of pens that he makes I'm looking forward to this weekend and I'm looking forward to seeing what else he has there um, because fantastic quality and that is the beauty of custom made pens of individual handmade pens that you really see the time and effort and love and sweat and guts and everything that's been invested into these pens um and sometimes you know there's there just really needs to be a shout out to these wonderful sort of people that have the talent to be able to do this there are so many here in the uk in the us people i follow on instagram that are, are doing this that we don't necessarily sort of hear of but those of us that sort of get around the sort of pen I don't know what it's called the pen circuit I suppose it's a ridiculous term to use but you get to hear about these people and their names become um, more widely known but John has been known for a long time and has been part of this sort of community for a very long time and I'm very very grateful to um, have spent some time with him 
and for him to have made this pen for me. So thank you very much, John. I'm just going to stop going on now because um, I like talking. I'm talking a little too much. All you want to see is the pen and I don't blame you. All I want to see is this pen. I will, um, I've posted pictures on Instagram so you can have a look and I've also posted pictures of some other colours that he's done as well of this pen for other people, custom orders for them. So I'm going to stop talking, I don't think there's anything else I need to say right now. I'll turn the camera around so you can have a look in a lot more detail as to how this pen really looks and then you can see how it writes. I'll be back with you in just two takes. Welcome back. So this is the John Twist pen and this is a little different and I like this about this as a presentation. You get the usual boxes that you open up and it has that sort of, you know, that shut, close, coffin sort of feel about it. Well, this <laughs> has a bit of a coffin feel about it, but entirely different. Um, I think it sort of screams and carries on that sort of feeling of individually handmade products. Because the box has that same feel as well. Handcrafted, so if you can see here, so here's the Twist logo, handcrafted in England, Twist pens. And I don't know about you, but when I was younger and in school, my pencil case was like this, a little wider, but it opened up like this, it slid open like this, and my pens were inside. And this is how I went to primary school. So this is how this works anyway, and then inside here, and I put that away, is this lovely pouch as well. Tell us handmade, because you know, we've got some remnants of the wood, the shavings from the wood here, and then here we are. Put that the right way around, look at that. This is a lilac swirl. Not only is this a lilac swirl, but this is a transparent lilac swirl. I love this. I'm, re I'm looking forward to the pen show now next week, and I know I want another pen from John. And whilst I am very sort of um, want to try something different, I'm also very tempted to get another colour of this. Um, the colour is beautiful. I have seen this, I've seen a photo of this in um, orange, I've seen it in green, I've seen it in a beautiful mint colour. Um, but this lilac, I, lo I really like lilac anyway, but this is beautiful pink and I'd be over the moon. But look at that. I contacted John before I did this and said, look, you know, What's the material? What is it made of? Um, is there anything, any sort of detail about this that, you know, that I should give that I, you know, you want me to sort of mention while I'm reviewing this pen? And he sort of went, and, you know, and he said, no, you know, give it your honest opinion. Um, but it's an acrylic. And the acrylic is actually called lilac water. But the one thing he did mention was that Really, the hard work that goes into this is the sanding and the polishing of the insides of this, as you can, you know, as you can imagine, because it is crystal clear. You see, it's absolutely crystal clear in there, straight through, and the depth of those swirls. Wonderful. Sorry. I can't stop swirling it around, it is beautiful. So I actually haven't measured this one. I have measured it as far as weight is concerned. I'll get a ruler now if I stretch over. Sorry, lost it out of shot there a moment. Um, weight wise, this is a lightweight pen. This is 21 grams cap. So it is a very lightweight pen and it is 17 grams uncapped. Let's have a look at some measurements then. So we're about 140 millimetres long capped. Then uncapped, this is about 131, 132 millimetres. And then at the grip section, 
for those of you wanting to know, it is about 11 millimeters long and at its sort of widest point about 15 millimeters so it is it's a wide pen and I really like that about that capped posted sorry you can it's not going to stay on there very well but you can if you wanted to I really wouldn't so you say this is the first thing you'll notice about this is there is no clip on this whatsoever and that is by design because this is beautiful and I think a clip on there would take away the feel of it. What I have seen is some beautiful stoppers that he's made on his pens that I'm very interested as to a where they come from and whether I think I'd like to have a pen that has one of those on it next. But this is beautiful. It is, as you'll see, if you have a look down it, it's the same, it's perfectly straight, it's the same width really all the way along. It tapers slightly at either end and it comes to a little point at the finial here and there, slightly domed. Twist cap, always my preference, and also not too many twists to take that off. But it continues through to the grip section as well. This material doesn't have a black grip section. And then this is a cartridge converter system. Unscrew this, and it came with a cartridge converter that actually screws in, which was lovely. They can come in various other um, filling systems as well. A friend of mine, um, Ian Headley, go over and check his blog as well, Pens, Paper, Pencils, has just had taken ownership of one of these in mint and he's had his as an eyedropper, which I can imagine must be absolutely stunning to see that ink in there, sloshing around in there, must be absolutely beautiful. I haven't got the guts yet to have an eye drop and I also I get bored of the same ink so I would just be flushing it out too many times I you know I very rarely use a full ink filling up even this cartridge converter I would probably end up putting most of this back in because I want to try a different ink all the time so nib wise this is a fine nib lovely steel fine nib Joe nibs that come available in fine, medium and broad nibs. It is available with an 18 carat nib. You can get gold nibs as an upgrade. But you can also work with other nibs as well and fit pens with other nibs. What more do I say? Um, this is a fine nib. My preference is always extra fine nibs, but actually this is lovely. With the writing, I've tried different inks in here and I wanted a had to get a matching ink which you'll see now very very shortly um, so I did end up buying a couple of new inks just to get the right because I didn't want purple because it's not purple it's lilac um, and then also it I wanted to get it because I prefer extra fine I you know I don't want such a wet line I had put a drier ink in here which is what you'll see now so let's have a look and let's do a writing sample of this So here we go, let me just zoom in slightly here. So this is a twist pen. And this is lilac swirl with a steel fine nib. And then the ink, actually for reference, is Pelican 4001 Violet. As I said, steel nib, and I haven't had a single problem with it whatsoever. I could write with this pen and this nib 
forever. Because it's such a lightweight pen and because of the width of this pen, it is so comfortable to hold. It's the right length, it's not heavy, it's extremely well balanced and this is the sort of pen that I will that I sort of keep coming back to when I'm doing journal writing, when I'm writing letters, because it's so wonderfully comfortable. This is a pen that is there to be used. It's a writing pen to be used on a very daily basis. It's it's comfortable, very, very comfortable. The thing I didn't mention earlier was sort of the price of this. This is actually, these are 175 pounds and Yes, it's a steel nib pen for £175, but there are mass-produced steel nib pens out there for that price point and higher. And this isn't. This is a custom-made pen that you're not going to... You're not going to get an exactly the same one as this. This is mine. This is Ruth's, this is mine, and this will always be mine, and it looks like this. And I'm very, very happy to pay that money for that. And the steel nib, despite it being a steel nib, it's it's wonderful. It's so smooth. I actually, I might do a video soon on the difference between steel and gold nibs, or my experiences with them, because this is so smooth. I wouldn't ever sort of feel, oh, do you know what? I'd like to try a gold nib, or I'd like a gold nib in this. This is really lovely. It's quite a hard nib. It's not a big give in it, but it's not designed to be. There's nothing more I can say really, other than thank you very much, John, for taking the time to make such a beautiful pen. I'm super happy with it. And I look forward, I can almost tell you and guarantee this will not be my last in my collection. It's wonderful. I was, oh, it's rolling away. There we are. Maybe that's why I need to put a stopper on it. But thank you very much. Any questions, please leave a comment below. I will leave a link to John's website for you to have a look at as well as to how you can get in touch about these pens. Um, other than that, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.